Hello everyone and welcome to Serenity Peace and Comfort. My name is Serenity and today is part three of a four-part series dealing with medical preps you haven't thought of. Yes, you've got your Tylenol, your Motrin, and you think you're ready for any kind of pain episode, but there's so much more you could and should have in your medical arsenal. Now remember, if there's no doctor, no hospital available, or if you are excluded from doctors and hospitals due to your choice of not getting jabbed or due, due to just not having medical insurance or due to any kind of situation, you need to deal with these things on your own. So you need to be prepared. So there's three things that preppers really need to address. It's pain, bleeding, and infection. And I've kind of talked and touched on some of that in parts one and part two. Today we're really focusing in on pain. Now before I begin, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a medical professional, so please do run all of this that you learn by your doctor and make an, any medical decisions that are best for you with the help of your doctor and medical professional. Now, let's go on, let's begin. There are lots of things that we have in our medical arsenals and in our stashes that help us deal with pain. And that's good. And these are things we should have. But this is not all. There are lots of other great ideas, some even obscure, that we should have in our medical arsenals to deal with pain. Okay, so <clears throat> I'd like to start out with talking about herbs that you can use for pain. Because yes, hopefully you're stocked up on a lot of Tylenol, Motrin, and all of these things. But at some point, if the shelves are bare, you need an alternative. And bare shelves are a reality right now because of all the shipping problems and who knows what's going on with all that. So you need to have a various, a varied, I should say, amount of ways of dealing with pain, and that's what today is all about. We're gonna look at pain and deal with it in many different ways. And all of the ways I'm showing you are really affordable and available right now. So to begin, I know in my part one, I mentioned uh, lidocaine, lidocaine spray. It's a numbing spray. This would be very good to have. I also mentioned in my part one video about wild lettuce herb to deal with pain. Here's another herbal formula. This is called Thunder God Root. Yes, <laughs> Thunder God Root. Yes, it's a Chinese herb. I have not tried this yet. It's new to me. And uh, so I'm ready that at the first sign of any kind of pain, I'm going to try this and see how it works and I think that's an important point you know this is the time when we should be trying things out learning and experimenting to see what works for us you don't want to wait till a major episode hits you to figure all this thing out so this is the time and one of the things I'm doing is I'm experimenting with herbs for pain and inflammation and so <clears throat> I am growing, this is stinging, stinging nettle, and this herb is good for uh, pain also, especially um, like osteoarthritic pain. So I'm hoping to uh, wait till it gets more big and lush, and I'm going to make a tincture out of this and then hold on to it for the future. And that's what I mean when I say this is the time to start doing stuff like this. Um, learning and growing and, and figuring out what would work for you and how to do things. Because the time may come where you have no choice. Now, I have to grow this inside my apartment. I don't own any land. I don't have a farm. But a lot of you do. And you should definitely be experimenting with medicinal herbs right now. Okay. So now, dealing with pain that is not an herbal formula, I'd like to introduce this wonderful 
I guess device you would call it. This is a Kylo and it looks like this. And it's all about nanotechnology, which I can't even begin to explain to you, but you can go online and look it up. But it is this copper panel that you just take uh, the plastic backing off and then you can stick it on your arm or wherever your pain is and it really does help relieve the pain. It's, it's fascinating how it works. Um, again, I won't begin to explain it, but it does. I have to say, this does work. It is pricey though. This was about a hundred bucks or so, uh, but it was worth it for me to uh, get it and work with it, experiment with it. I think this is a great thing to have on hand. And of course, because it's so expensive, I would be saving this for a time when I really, really need it. So I'm not going to waste it. You, it. Um, I don't know how long it lasts, but I know the backing eventually goes out and uh, it loses its stickiness at some point after a couple of uh, applications. But nevertheless, this is a great thing to try. And I would definitely have this in your medical arsenal. Next, another way to deal with pain is where does a lot of pain come from? Well, a lot of pain comes from our backs. So for me, I keep a lot of devices that will help me with back and spinal pain and nerve pain. And so I picked up this very simple acupressure mat. You just lay on it for a few minutes. It feels great. It releases those muscles. And it cost me, I don't know, 20 bucks or something like that. It was very affordable and worth having. Okay. Next, this <laughs> interesting thing here. This is called a Fisher Tract Traction. I can find the name. Here we go. Fisher Traction. And this goes on the doorknob on the opposite side of the door. And your head goes in the cradle right here in the blue and it relieves all the pressure and the pain in the head and in the neck. Check this out. So, again, something wonderful to have uh, in your medical arsenal. Um, keeping in mind that the days of running to a chiropractor may be over in, in an SHTF scenario. So we have to think ahead. What would we do? What can we get now um, that can kind of hopefully take the place of a medical visit? Moving along, next I have, this is for the lower back. This is called the low back. And <laughs> It looks so interesting, but it's and it's fairly easy to use. You lay on your back, and you you put these on your thighs, and as you press down, you are releasing your lower back and your spine and those nerves. Check this out. So the low back. I saw it online for, the prices were really varied. I saw one for um, $9, I saw another one for $40. So you might be able to get one, a used one. I think it's great to have, and for me, it's important because my back pain comes a lot from lower back, the lower back. So um, this is something that um, I keep in my arsenal, and if I ever need it, I've got it, and uh, this kind of stuff will come to the rescue when you one day either can't get to a chiropractor or doctor, can't afford to get to a chiropractor or doctor, or you're not allowed to go see a chiropractor or doctor. 
As crazy as it is to say that, I would never think in America that that would even be a thing. But we just, the days we're living in, we just don't know. Now, here comes one of my favorite medical preps. This is called the Pure Wave. And although it's, yes, it's a massager, it's really a fantastic device. You get all different kinds of heads that come on it. This head is for your, the muscles in your thighs. But you can easily switch out, put this on for your back. This is another different kind of back head. This one is for, you could use it here and use it all around your face and your neck. So this is a wonderful, wonderful medical prep. It was about $100, but honestly, it was worth it. It was definitely worth the money that you pay for it. It is an excellent, excellent product, very well made. Well, I think that's it for today. So, be sure to join me for part four, coming up soon. Now, if there's anything that you can think of that addresses pain that I have not presented here today, would you put that down in the comments? This is all about helping each other. We want to get this information out and we want to help our fellow preppers and neighbors. So put it down there. Now I'm not talking about your Tylenols and, and things like that because that's a medical prep we already have and know about. But I'm thinking of something more obscure that maybe I just haven't found or, or listed here today. So that would be so nice if you could do that. Now if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and help this channel out. We really need to grow and you can help us do that. Hit the like button also and listen, share this with other preppers. We all need this information. Well, till I see you again, God bless you and see you soon.